Hello again, I'm Georgina from She Might Be Loved. I'm going to be reviewing the GHD's Classic Gold Stylus today, which are flipping beautiful. They come in a really lovely box. Yeah, the Gold Professional Styler. I'm using the box to keep my camera up because it's the perfect height. So I've just switched these on. They have done the little beep 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 to tell me that they are ready. I am a real big GHD fan, so the fact that I now get to review them because this is what I do for a job is pretty amazing but I won't swear because I'll be a good girl but yeah they turn on really really easily I'm trying to show you through the crack you just literally go on and off and then the beat comes on to tell you that they work fantastic example Georgina this is literally the first time I have took them out of the box to try them so I don't want to try any piece of hair that's too thick too thin so this is probably about roughly what I would use and to curl my hair I immediately put it on twist it and then kind of wiggle down because you want to keep it as tight as possible so if the hair just falls out it's not going to curl oh fingers crossed I don't know why I worry because the GHDs there's no need to worry with the GHDs the thing I love most about GHDs is the fact that the top part of the curler on this side the outer edge actually gets really really hot whereas some curlers they kind of put like a bit of a protective coat on so you don't burn yourself but if I want to curl my hair I need the entire thing to be Roughly the same temperature because I'm not putting my hand on the actual iron because that will be really hot. The outside is pretty toaster. So I was going to make this in two videos where I review the GHDs and then where I review my glamorizers. But seeing as this video is going to be so short because I really don't have any problems with the straighteners at all. They are curling really, really well. I mean, I kind of get flat curls than usual because they're not curling as well up here as they are down here and flickier curls than usual but that's probably because of how I'm doing it not the straighteners because like I said normally I went back to front and spent a lot lot more time so yeah these are the GHD V Gold Professional Stylers the classics and they are absolutely beautiful I really really like these so next up are the glamorizers so the glamorizers are portable straighteners where you need to charge them for three to four hours and they should last for anywhere up to 45 minutes of styling time I believe. I absolutely love these, they're so compact, they come in a nice little glittery case. And I've gave it the easy side of my hair to do because I have tried to use these on the train before and I don't think I let them get quite hot enough. So I did end up in a little bit of a mess. But... Let's just class this as the official time that I'm trying them out properly. But ideally, I would use these on tra public transport. That's what I would use them for. I'm not going to carry around portable strainers in my house. So yeah, with them having a slightly... You can hear it because I'm trying to wiggle the hair down. I've got really, really thick hair. Yeah. With me having quite thick hair and with them being quite a, they're still quite round but they have got quite a square shape to them, quite a rectangle shape to them, sorry. Um, it does mean that the curls aren't as fantastic as what I would like but if I was travelling and I just needed a couple pieces of hair redone, as you can see, I can quite clearly get a nice curl. But it's just if I had to do my entire hair and rely on these... I couldn't use them but I guess as they are portable straighteners they are meant to be used on the go for emergencies and I've been traveling so much lately and had so many so many so many bad hair days I mean that piece didn't even curl yeah I've been traveling so much lately and had so many bad hair days from getting off sweaty trains and weather that I really could have done with these just to fix little bits of my hair panic over they've gone off the charge they go off the charge really really fast that had two bars they were fully charged i must have used them for about 10 minutes and that's gone off not quite sure why that's happened so soon as i said i had half the bars left but yeah i'll basically just talk you through them then so they do get really hot on the outside as well as the inside which i said earlier was really important i can't get 
really nice curls on thin, thin pieces of hair. So if you've got thin hair and you normally have problems with traveling, when you got trains, when you got buses, or you're going to events, anything like that, these are absolutely perfect for traveling. I can still do my fringe with them, just as good as anything else. I can't maybe curl the thicker parts of my fringe, as I have tried and I've got a video of me struggling to do that as well. But overall, for £70, to potentially save you from terrible photos at an event, let's face it, if you're going all that way to an event, say London, which, like I said, I've been travelling a lot, if I've gone all the way to London and I get off the train, after spending two hours doing my hair at home, and I'll do my makeup on the train, I get off and my hair's gone just absolutely terrible, £70 for all the times that that's happened is nothing. Nothing at all. But yeah, they are really, really compact. They're really light because I've got really bad back problems so I can't carry a lot of stuff in my bag. Not half as much as I'm used to carrying. So they are perfect for that. Like I said, you can have high and low. I would always recommend going on high because they do get, they do go up to 200 and something degrees, I believe. I think it's 210. So they do go practically up to GHD level. These are, in other words, shit hot. They are really, really good. But... For people with really, really thick hair, we are going to struggle. You're going to have to do tiny, tiny pieces of hair at a time. Be really patient. Really let them warm up all around. So you want them to warm up here and inside as well. You, 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 you know the drill. You know the drill. Portable straighteners are never going to be as good as ones that you can plug in. But for emergencies, and when you've spent hours on your hair, and Mother Nature is being one of them, you... <laughs> You really need them. I'm so, so happy about them. They are going to be fully, fully charged. Very, very shortly because I'm probably on the road again. But yeah, I can't, I can't say enough good things about them. Not really a battle. It's more so my favourite brand of straighteners to use at home to get ready with. GHD is hand down. Do like Cloud9, but GHD is still just better. And then Glamorizer is my favourite new... Just the best invention ever for travelling with. So it has saved my hair. Not a great example, but it has. So let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the future. I might give it a go and I will catch you later. Bye.